What up, everybody? Welcome back. We're doing a stipulation from the one and only Chorwit today. Charles Whitaker. Uh, that's neither of those are his first or last names, but uh, yeah, the, the, the illustrious Kerwit. We are doing a stip. It says vintage only take cards that are only legal in vintage. I'm going to take a mox. It is only legal in vintage. However, let's be clear. There are going to be plenty of packs that have cards that are not only legal and vintage. And in that situation, I'm just going to have to take a card in case you guys, I know, I know I'm going to get comments in the YouTube video and they're going to be like, you stole his money because you took Fagner fiction. And I'm gonna be like, buddy, there was no other, there was no card that was only legal and vintage or worst case scenario. I forget that a card was only legal and vintage and then you'll crucify me. So let's, let's try to relax. I don't think Kerwitz going to mind. Let's try to have fun. And I love you guys. Thank you for watching. Um, so like in this pack, I don't think any of these cards are only legal and vintage. I'm pretty sure Smokestack is legal and legacy. And I'll, I'll bring up Scryfall so we can have a nice handy reference. Smokestack. It's legal and legacy. All of these cards are legal in, in every format. Not one card in here is only legal and vintage. Let's do legacy or vintage. Okay. Okay. Eternal only. Take only cards that are legal in eternal formats. How about that? Okay. I like it. I'll take Metalworker because of that. I'm pretty sure Winter Orb. Eternal does not equal modern. Modern is not an eternal format. No. And for those of you who are curious... Uh, I, this is a pet peeve of mine. Everyone misuses the term eternal. Eternal doesn't mean non-rotating. Modern is a non-rotating format. Eternal means that all cards are legal, except for like band lists, right? So like they have their own band lists, but all cards in throughout magic, if a card is printed in magic, whether it's in a commander set, whether it's a standard set, it's going to be legal in that format. So the, 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 the eternal formats are vintage and legacy. Those are the eternal formats. Modern does not rotate, but that is not the same as eternal. Little little lesson. Uh, Mystical Tutor is only legal in Vintage, but we just changed the step, so now I'm going to take this Winter Orb. <laughs> it is legal in only Legacy and Vintage. Huh. Huh. <laughs> so this... I guess Port... Port is only legal in Vintage. I was going to be like, do I have to take this Benevolent Bodyguard? Oh, boy. I'm pretty sure Sphinx is legal and modern because look at it. Gideon is legal and modern. Guess we're taking port here. Land tax. Hmm. High tide. Hmm. See, this is going to put us in a real awkward position where we're only able to draft like two or three cards per pack. Matt, my love for you is eternal, buddy. This isn't a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a love cycle. I mean, bargain is fine. I'm going to take high tide. We don't know where we're at yet. What about control magic? Oh, balance though. Also, I'm trying to pick up a balance, beta balance for my cube. So if you guys... Uh, if you guys have a beta balance that you're willing to, you know, either either sell me or part with for the stream, they only go for about 650. So, you know, beta balance, I'm looking for one. It's going to go directly in my cube. You will know you contributed directly to the Frank cube. And uh, it'll be a good time. Everybody will have a good time. I'm going to take balance. Balance is real strong. Oof. Okay, so actually we get to pick whatever we want here because I don't think any of these cards are only legal. In, in Vintage or Legacy. But I'm probably going to take Monastery Mentor. Okay. Legal. Mana Flare. Uh, upheaval. Let's Upheaval. Oh yeah, we can Upheaval. Forge Master. Oh, 650? That's all? Well, in that case, yeah, if it was if it was 660 or 680 or something, I would definitely let you know. But since you can get them for 650, pretty reasonable, I think. Uh, 
Uh, actually, Forge Master is legal. All of these are legal in other formats. Recurring Nightmare. Oh God, it's got to be Maze or Nightmare. Yeah, that's rough. That is a maze and a nightmare. Oh, yeah. Treasure Cruise. I don't even know what format Treasure Cruise is legal. And this is tough. It is restricted in... It's legal in Pioneer, though. Shit. So I gotta take Smokestack, I guess. I don't think this is... I don't think we're gonna have a deck. I'm gonna be honest with you. Okay, Lion's Eye Diamond. I, I guess we're taking that. The other day, a couple of my friends... Hold on. Hold on. Oh my god. I have to take Bodyguard. Oh, for Christ's sakes. Oh, Christ. <laughs> this is terrible. Lantax. What is this deck? Oh, God. The other day, a couple of my friends were talking about Animal Crossing, and one of them referred to Tom Nook as a rat, so I chimed in, does that mean you have a rat debt? And they laughed at it for about five minutes. Did they get the joke? Kurt, this is going to be terrible. Of course, we, we didn't open any more power, unfortunately. We got Skull Clamp with Mentor. I'm wishing I took that Bitter Blossom, though. I think it's got to be Skull Clamp, right? Everything else is legal and modern. <laughs> they just found the phrase rat dead funny. That's pretty funny. All right, Skull Clamp it is. Yikes. Oh, Underground Sea. We don't have any black cards that we're really interested in playing, and we already passed a Tundra, unfortunately. But none of these cards are... Uh solely legal in i'm gonna take underground c it just feels better okay all these car oh putrid imp jeez see cards like Put like the packs like this where there's just like one card that's like really messing up everything is really bad Ugh, god like it's got to be putrid imp or fire blast I guess we have recurring nightmares, so maybe we're now maybe we're now storm uh, stacks reanimator. I don't think this is gonna be playable, unfortunately. Thran Dynamo. Okay, you're gonna go over there on the sideboard. Yeah, we're taking Thran Dynamo here. I mean, we have an upheaval, right? We can we can make it work. Asking for a lot to go right, but you got it. Yeah, I mean, like, it's not terrible. Oh, are we at Talarian Academy, a Hymn to Toro? See, now this is a pack where you got Swords, Hymn, Talarian Academy, and Chorus of Portal. And it's like, why do all four of these have to be in the same pack? We have four artifacts, five artifacts so far. I kind of like Academy here. I also kind of like Chorus of Portal. I'm going to take the Academy. I'd also like to thank the Academy. Um, Well, shit. Another pack where my literal only choice is Cabal Ritual, and that kind of sucks. Um, yeah, that's really bad. That's unfortunate. Okay, Marari's Wake, guys. We're Marari's Waking. I guess we could also take Living Death. Yeah. This 
so yikes for me, dog. <laughs> oh, boy. <sighs> Is this a free pick? Oh, boy. Verdant Catacombs gets Underground Sea. Uh, Arab Mesa gets nothing. We're gonna, I guess we'll take... Okay, I guess we can take whatever we want here. Probably a Leshnorn. Oh, I guess it would have been Birthing Pod because it's not legal in Modern. Oh, that's unfortunate. I mean, come on, we're not playing it. We're just grabbing the card and putting it in the sideboard. I don't think it's super relevant, but uh, I think we're taking Wrath here. All of these are legal in all formats. Personally, Generis go to Metalworker and Talarian Academy. Armageddon is interesting, and it's also one of the two cards we can pick between that and Duress. We're going to take Armageddon. You're going to hear it from YouTube. It's true. Him to Torok. Okay. All right. I can realistically take... Oh, wow. Chupacabra, too. Interesting. I don't know what's going on. This deck is really fascinating. Uh, Baleful Strix seems like the best pick. It's also not a modern card. Animate Dead is also fine, but we don't have any great things to Animate Dead except for a Leshnorn. That's a standard playable card. Uh, we're just take Baleful Strix. I mean, right now we have Underground and Verdant, so... Mind twist. Ooh. Yeah, or we get a scrubland. I like a scrubland a lot, actually, and we can get it with a verdant catacomb. I think it might come back, though. Let's mind twist. Let's mind twist again. Like we did last. Uh -huh. Ponder is an option, right? We could also take Bayou, but we don't really have anything. I mean, like, this is just, it's just like getting a, getting a black source. So I think it's actually Ponder here. We can also take Wasteland if we're like super... Now I'm taking Ponder. Why is this Lion's Eye Diamond in here? Get the hell out of here. Okay, Turnabout. Tangle Wire. Vindicate. I do like a Vindicate. I mean, I do feel like it's Tangle Wire. I want to limit the amount of black Thank cards you. I'm playing, so. Oh, Antibody, welcome back. Really appreciate you, my dude. Is there anything we have to take in here? I don't think so, right? Oh, there is. Well, that'll just go right over here. Blight Steel! And it can't be Blight Steel. Okay. That's unfortunate. Yep, it has to be Exhum, I suppose. My sub babies do any day now. Well, I just, I literally thanked you. Was was that not good enough? Okay, so I guess it has to be Exhum here. That's, that's sad. Wow, that's really sad. I, I, I think this definitely needed some vetoes. Wait, why are we playing the Imp now? I mean, I, I guess. I don't know. Oh, God.
Factor Fiction, actually pretty good. It's either looter or factor fiction. I think it's factor fiction. Uh, no, no, no. So it has to be Goblin Welder. Oh, I know. Can't be I. Yeah, it has to be Goblin Welder. Jeez, this is. This is stupid. This is so... I'm just, like, watching good cards. That would be amazing for our deck. Factor Fiction is modern legal now? Wait, what? Oh, my God. Well, I wasn't playing the other one anyway. All right, we'll take reanimate. We'll take animate dead. Scrubland did come back. Yeah, I'll just take on Barrel Rights. <laughs> Guys, I have one Aleshno on here. Oh, boy. Kurt, what have you done? God. I'm pretty sure this is actually unplayable. Vindicate came back? Sure, I'll take a Vindicate. This is the worst stacks deck, the worst reanimate deck. And the worst upheaval deck I've ever played all at the same time. Oh, God. Oh, God. None of these are any good. So a three oh six though. Yeah, I mean we might have we might have enough uh enough supplies here as they say to Don't care about any of these. I don't know why you, I don't understand why you switched from a good artifact deck to a real bad reanimate pile because that's how stipulations work. care about port academy all of these this is 23 is this just our deck yeah there are no bolts in the cube i actually have a bolus stipulation uh that says uh, ch -ch 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 play every color except white play every nickel bolus above all else or just legendaries and fixing and I'm going to wait until there's a nickel bolus cube we don't have one yet yeah Urza with Orb but I took Urza when I shouldn't have so I w wasn't feeling great about Urza obviously uh, alright um, doesn't have to be all of them even just one okay yeah if i find any of those i will definitely take it matt and unforgiven i appreciate both you guys toolbox step birthing pod vanifar survival draft as many as possible okay sounds good i will definitely that could be a nice change of pace there uh 
Okay, so... <laughs> I have no idea. This deck is so weird, dude. I think Urza... I mean, if, if Kermit doesn't mind us playing Urza, then I'm just going to play Urza. But I am acknowledging that it was an accidental pick. I think we timed out on that pick or something. I, I definitely did not uh, intentionally double-click on Urza to take it. Unforgiven, thank you so much for the support, buddy. Have a good night, and I will see you soon, I'm sure. Oh, boy. Okay, so we have to animate dead, which I like better than exhume. We need a cut here, actually. Oh, Adanto Vanguard does not Vanguard <laughs> Vanguard does not seem great here. Winter Orm with Urza is pretty nice. We also have Tangle Wire, which we can tap the Winter Orm down with. That's not gonna do. I think this is I think this is actually not terrible. But maybe it's actually terrible. Like what are we metal working into? Like mind twist? No. Pack rat is like Pack rat I just want to play as like a a guy that could win me a game. Do we just take metal worker out for pack rat? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven artifacts. I'm gonna take Metal Worker out for Pack Rat. Double whites and double blues do look tough, but if we take them out, we have nothing. So, like, okay, let's take these out. Okay, now we don't have any reason to play Animate Dead or Unbarrel Rights, so let's take those out. Without Urza, we really don't have a great winter orb strategy. Okay, so this is our deck now. Okay, sounds good. I mean, Ruin and Smokestack are a thing in the sense that you can get Smokestack back with Ruin, but I certainly don't, uh, I, I don't actually want to cast those things, so, you know, sort by converted mana cost. Well, the point is we're probably not casting this, right? We're, we're probably going to try to reanimate this somehow, either through discarding to Packrat or, uh, where'd Packrat go? So, I mean, or like we have land tax to get multiple sources of different colors, right? So, I mean, that means that's that's hardly cast as double white. And like we're trying to cast, we have Talarian Academy, so we're probably going to Talarian Academy either one of these. And the only thing is Wrath of God, and I think Wrath of God is the only way we're actually going to be able to stay alive in any sort of game, so... Okay, uh, this is 23, and I think it's probably the best that we're going to get. I almost want Academy, just because Academy putting Walking Ballista on top is a reasonable course of victory. Uh, we have seven creatures total right now. <laughs> no, I don't think we have enough creatures for a Recurring Nightmare. We also don't have enough creatures to sacrifice for a Recurring Nightmare. I mean, if we get Monastery Mentor on Recurring Nightmare, that's fine. But we have also no real efficient way to get creatures in the graveyard. Like, we have to draw our one Aleshnorn. Like, I don't know what we'd be recurring, right? Like, we're not going to recur Baleful Strix or Porcelain Legionnaire. Because they're just kind of meh. Uh, we're not going to recur Walking Ballista. Urza would be fine. And, like, Pack Rat. You know, I, it's just... <laughs> Strings for I mean, I'm fine with it. But this is not... Uh, guys 
this is gonna be a this is gonna be an event. I I implore you to blame Kerwit for anything that's happening. Also, Verdant getting both of these is super, super nice. So. Okie dokie. Four, five, six, seven white sources. I'm in. Four, five, six, seven blue sources. And three, four, five, six. Okay, this is actually. Seven, seven, six seems like the best we could possibly ask for. I wanted to thank you for being a distraction from stuff, especially after today. I'm trying to talk about things very, very minimally. Uh, that is my goal. And it's hard because I really want to discuss things because they're important and they're real. But I know this is a distraction for more than just myself. So definitely, I, I, I'm, glad you, I'm glad you are also uh, finding <laughs> at least a little bit of, of comfort and distraction from that. So please, out of respect for everyone else, Let's not go crazy. I think this deck needs one mountain. So that one drawn, you know, it could have been any other card in the sideboard. Oh dear. I wonder if anyone wants to... Oh, we did it. <laughs> He's an attraction, am I right? Okay, let's take it easy. Not with my poofy hair. Oh, God, I need a haircut. I was tempted to just do it myself, guys. I've been real tempted to just do it myself. Port seems good, but we're already playing a three-color deck with multiple double black, double blue, and double white cards. So I can't really justify port because i mean as cute as it is to like tap down one of their lands for a turn uh i think it's way more important that we be able to cast our spells you too but you won't need it i mean if i can win one match i'm gonna feel just just fantastic land tax All right, let's see what we got here. Ooh. I think we keep the... Yeah, we're not going to shuffle this. No. Okay, so now we have double blue, double black, and double white. We can go grab a an underground with this. Okay, I'm probably going to shoot this elf. Okay, it probably doesn't matter now. I guess I did ask for land tax, so they're like, here's three lands, dummy. And I was like, oh no. Actually, we can probably walking blister this guy. And the reason being, we have ways to get back this guy in the long run. So I think it's probably more important to stifle their man out a little bit at the, at the beginning now.
Okay, they have one card in hand. We can him to Torok them. And then we can factor fiction. Okay. Oh, boy. Well, there's no better time than now. Did they mulligan this game? I'm all the six. Doesn't seem terrible. Why did you play f Survival over Courser there? That's interesting. Also, if we get a big... What if we get a Leshnorn in the graveyard then we animate dead it? Oh, man. I see that one tip in the jar is still styling and profiling. Look at it go. Look at it spin. Fabloop is watching. I don't think Theron Dynamo does anything for us here. I think it's just factor fiction. I mean, we can play... Uh... Are you the Frank Laporte? It's quite possible. Although he did add an E to my name, so it's like, Frank -a. Welcome, a welcome diversion from the craziness. Hope Josh, good seeing you, buddy. Josh, it's so good to see you, my dude. <laughs> oh, man. We have a good time. Oh, they're getting rid of a slime. Well, we'll see. Interesting, they got a Yavimai Elder. Okay. We just had no reason to play to play Dynamo. I mean, if it ramped us into something, this is actually a fantastic hit. Wow. I mean, say what you want about this deck right now. This is a good hit for this deck. Wow, that's bananas. Huh. I'm going to choose Pile 2 because I think Monastery Mentor against them is going to go way farther here. Plus, we can also go Mentor. Animate this guy. I mean, they can be animate dead, but I already got an animate dead target. <laughs> Give me my ooze. This deck is terrible. But that's okay. We're gonna make do. So next time we can go Dynamo, Tangle Wire, and this guy, right? Yeah, we can go this, this, this. And we get tr two monks. Are you recording? Need to know if this embarrassment is going to be public. <laughs> oh, God. I said my deck is not this good, I promise. This is a total fluke, man. But the deck was not that good. Alright, so they played this. This guy's gone. We know they have a forest.
I'm playing mono green. No need to worry. Well, I assume there's always a crater hoof in there. What do they get back? Survival. Oh my god. Three, four, five, six, seven. So we're going to tap this, 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 and one monk. Oh my goodness gracious. I guess we'll see what we draw with Baleful Strix first, right? Kerwit, this might be the best deck we've ever drafted. Let's get in there with you. And probably that's it. I don't really want them to double block here. Uh, they witnessed back the survival. So this is three, four, five, six, seven. So we can go tap this, 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 and one creature, probably like acidic slime. Oh boy. Okay. I think we're okay. Um, all right, so we want to put this on first, right? And then the fading goes to three. No, we can't tap the anime dead, I don't think. It's got to be an artifact, creature, or a land. Tapping, because tapping enchantments doesn't actually affect anything. A tapped enchantment doesn't, doesn't penalize anyone. So they don't, they don't, like, there's no, there's no uh, detriment to, to tapping a. To tapping an enchantment is what I'm saying. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we're gonna go. Probably one monk and then these. Oh, that's only three. We only need three. So one, two, three, and then we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, yeah, that's probably gonna do it. This is what Crater Hoof feels like. Four, I was gonna eight, seven, twelve, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine. This is exactly lethal. No, that's exactly lethal. They are dead Z's. Witches missed begs to argue with that. Oh god. What is this? Destroy a creature that was dealt damage this turn. Oh my god. That's okay, let's be real. Future Sight is a weird set. Boom 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 boom. 
Um, okay, so I think we're fine. Maybe living death? No, I don't know about that. <laughs> Frank, you very much. Should that be my new catchphrase? <laughs> Frank, you very much. Uh, probably not. I don't have any idea how that game went the way it did. Have you been following any of the call time links? Yeah, I wrote about them today, Matthew. I wrote about them today in my Cool Stuff article that you can find at this link right here. Check it out. Leave me a comment in the article. Let me know what you think. This hand's also really good. Turn one land tax into turn two legionnaire. I don't understand how this deck is actually performing, but... Does that mean your article's a cool article, buddy? Please. You know it is. Oh boy. Things are happening. Where my scrubland out? This scrubland was clutch. Antibody. That's true. All of it. So we're gonna we're gonna go up to we're gonna play a land, which is gonna go to five. We're gonna play a spell, which is gonna go to four. Draw a card for the turn and go up to five. So we can get, I think I'm gonna get two lands here. Let's get another white and another black. I don't like getting more lands just to discard them. It's just not a thing I like doing personally. Sometimes, like, some people like di getting lands and just discarding them. But, like, if we're if we're already limiting the number of lands that are in our deck and then we're throwing out lands that are in our hand, then it's like I just don't like being like, oh, well, now I can't find a land or, like, okay, that's, uh, that is a, that is a thing. Okay. Daddy needs a Wrath of God here. I'm going to get one land. It's going to be an island. Done. It's not as good against them. I feel like that could probably even be taken out, perhaps. <sighs> Killing this isn't even that bad because we do get to block the things. Alternatively, we can mind twist our last two cards. But then we take eight. Yeah, we're going to have to vindicate this guy. I don't love it, but... But it lets us block both of these, so... Uh, we know they have Tri-Belder. Vindicated! Okay. Are they going to see if they can get another land? Oh boy. Oh boy. Well,
So the problem is they have five lands. One, two, three, four. No, they have six mana if we if we wrath, and then they just get to play Primeval Titan. Um, I think we're just playing Thran Dynamo because Thran Dynamo lets us play. We'll have eight mana next turn, which means we can kill their hand and their board, and then they're in top deck mode. We just have to wave, wave, wave one more like block here, take three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, the problem is if we wrath, then they just get to play Primeval Titan. Okay, Rex Sage. Yep, that's what we were hoping for. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Like, we can actually Wrath and... Um, and get it next turn. And then with nothing in hand, we can actually... I think we're actually going to do that. Because then we get to keep our Thran Dynamo. So we're going to go down to four cards. Draw for the turn is five. So we can actually hit two lands here. Oh boy, this is... Yeah, we definitely need a white. We're probably going to get another blue. Let's get another white and a blue. White and blue. Draw for the turn. Go to 10. 1. Oh my god, I should have played the land. Oh my god, I should have played the land first. Shit. That was so bad. Yeah, I should have floated mana, played Armageddon, then played Wrath. That was so bad. Yeah, that was rough. I mean, I still think we're fine, but... <laughs> oh, next time we just get to play Swamp and then go Mind Twist? Okay, let's do that. I didn't jump on the course or no. There's a lot of things going on right now. I'm just a little... Just trying to keep it together. What were they drawing? Golos? I think it was Golos. Oh my god. we get. To go. I, I don't know what's going on. Kerwit, I hope you're watching this still. I can't even imagine if you left. That would be hilarious. I said this is a stip, and I did not feel like this deck came together, so I apologize. <coughs> wow. He said, all good. It was fun seeing it. Man, that's wild. Man. I, I don't even under I don't understand what just happened. Time for the old three oh six though. You know, I'm not sure. I kinda like this. We just discard on barrel rights, make a pack rat? Oh boy. What is happening? This deck is a, a big pot of confusion. Another mono green deck? Oh, we've already played not, 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 not. I think we played them yesterday. Are wins with Geddon really wins? Yeah, in the cube? 
Yeah. I see. Um, you know what? This guy dies, the other guy dies. Well, Armageddon out of here then. <laughs> Uh, it's not. I shouldn't have laughed at that. I mean, if you have more things to play, I'm not going to feel bad about double mox opening, so. <laughs> I mean, joke's on you, buddy. I was only going to make a pack route anyway. A scavenging is interesting. You got it. Hmm. Hmm. These eyes cry every night. Oh, why can't Amber Red sit their graveyard? Come on. Hurting on me. Um, I'm tempted to double block this guy. Hmm. I think we're just taking the five here. I'd rather have three rats on the board. I think it's just significantly better in future turns. <laughs> These eyes have never seen a mother -mother like the one I like I had with you. Oh, really? You're not going to get the other one, too? All right. That was weird. And you have three extra green. I don't know why you wouldn't have attacked for one more there, but... It's pretty bad. It's not great, Bob. Okay. Well... Need a white source and a wrath of God. See, this is more in line what I would have expected the uh, the the deck to perform like. Looks like another rat to me. Touche. Touche. That guy's fine. Oh my god, we held them back? Well, that's interesting. <laughs> Lock the door. The rats are finally here to collect. I avoided them as long as I could. Oh my god. <clears throat> it's 
So do we make another 4-4, or do we just assume that their last card isn't like... I mean, if the last card's Crater Hoof, it's, we're dead, right? Like, that's the end. And if we have a, if we had a second black at any point in time, it'd be pretty good. So six mana. Fellas kills us. What do you guys think? Are we gambling on them not having Crater Hoof in hand? I don't know. I'm gonna give. I'll give it to them. Let's let, let, let let's make them have it. Let's. But they always have it, right? So we're just literally saying, have it. Yep, and they have it. <laughs> God, it's like fucking clockwork, dude. It is hilarious. <laughs> I've never seen them not have it. You know, that's what one more rat does for us. It does the same thing that two more rats or three more rats does for us. It gets us back in the game. God, that's fantastic. Definitely tempted to play Choops here. I mean, I don't think it's wrong. Like, I mean, like, they have to have this one card. They always have it. Statistically, in my brain, they always have it. But that's not real. That's not reality. Like, that's that doesn't mean pretty much anything. Yeah, we're just going to keep this. Oh, I think you're confusing Winter Orb with our entire deck. So it's a it's a common mistake. Totally understandable. You alright, Chief? Okay, we have two very good cards in our hand. They also got a really good start with double mocks, like turn two deranged hermit, so. Oh boy. <laughs> ah, get fucked. <laughs> Seems good. I forgot we had a mox in here. I think it's probably better just mine. Actually, nah, I want the Thran. Because we get to play a Leshnorn and Mind Twist them next turn. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. No, we don't actually. Well, that's pretty good. I mean, I'm sure they top decked that. Otherwise, we would have played it last turn. Four, five, six, seven. I mean, it goes to a four, four, so I guess we're just racing here, but. A hell of a top deck. Monastery Mentor. Planes is also good. If only we had anything to unbarrel rights here.
Uh, we cannot block because that is how, not how protection from everything works. You got it. <laughs> okay. Man, a blue would really be killer right about now. Oh, Mooch will be in Frank. I just remember this because I saw it in my daughter's crib around Halloween. She got to pick a toy from the costume store. He chose Pet Rat. Oh, her choice, Pet Rat. <laughs> well. Oh, what did you think it was? Lotus Cobra? I can see it looking like a Lotus. Oh, there we go. Actually kind of surprised you played this instead of just like... I guess... Yeah, I don't, I don't really understand that. Because <clears throat> you still only have seven mana, so you're not going to... Nice. Got him. <laughs> Feels good. All right, one more game. And I didn't realize I had to pro everything. <laughs> so, so lots of reasons, lots of reasons. How do you, how do, what did you think, what did you think they had? Or what did you think it was rather? I'm definitely tempted to play one more. One, two, three, four. I think we actually take out the Academy Ruins and I'm just gonna add another Swamp because I think that seems more relevant now. Oh, yes, Metal Worker 4 would have been better. That's a good... Yeah, but now it's in our opening hand. We're going to mulligan this anyway, though. If this is a Metal Worker, we'd still mulligan it, so... It looks like a worm to me or some kind of pasta noodle. That sounds about right. I'll keep this. We got land tax? Sure. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pitch Tangle Wire because I think it's worse for... It's worse for us than it is for them. They got a bunch of shit that they can play. Also, mulliganing and then playing land tax. Chef's kiss. You got it. So we're going to go land clamp, which puts us down to three, so we can get like the full set. Black, blue, black. Okay, that's actually even better. <clears throat> in before acidic slime oh what up sammy boy i thought it was one of the crappy ones from og's in the car let's just get big oh yeah no it's the it's the good one Okay, I was I was actually expecting an acidic slime, which is that's actually significantly better. Okay, again, we can we're gonna play at least two things. We're gonna play Baleful Strix and Skull Clamp and Land. So we're gonna have four. Draw for the turn is five. Draw for the Strix is six. So I'm actually just gonna get one land here. Vindicato. Um, one, two, three. So we definitely want to swamp because we want to play Baleful Strix. So swamp, Strix, Scully Boy, and we'll pass. So next time we we can either play uh, Urza or Choops. Or Vindicate if we really want to. I heard you guys are moving. I mean, we're always moving in next next June. Not anytime soon. I don't know where you... Where would you even heard that? I, I mentioned moving earlier on the stream, but...
Okay. Six, seven. So they're they're gearing up toward the crater hoof plan. Um, yeah, I want a second white here. So I think it's just black chupacabra, and then kill the uh, the devoted druid. Actually, devoted druid gives you. A s yeah, we need that. We need to kill a thing that actually makes mana, so that we can prevent you crater hoofing us. We really just want to hit, um, we really just want Wrath of God here, because if they have land, land, crater hoof, like, then we're just still dead, which is, like, what they always have, so. Sure. Oh my god, this is so many lands. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten lands. Good gravy. Yeah, I think we're going to kill the Baleful Strix here. I don't actually want to play Academy first, even though it nets us three, because if we want a Wrath of God. Have I sold the Q-Box? Yes, I did. I actually sold it on Facebook. I'm surprised you didn't notice. Um, upheaval one two three four five this is still six mana we can still take out the noble hierarch actually <clears throat> one two three four five mana And we're just trying to keep them off of Crater Hoof before we can start going crazy. Let's discard until you have seven. Get rid of an island and a swamp. Yep, that's 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 your that's your guy. Yeah, now we are going to maximize lands because I want to minimize the number of cards we can hit. Oh, we only have two lands left anyway, so. Now it's all gas. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> wow. That's hilarious. One, two, three, four, five, six. We can actually play a land afterwards. And I think that's actually very good for us. I think we actually... I'm just going to get in there with this guy. Because, like, if they... Yeah, I didn't think you would actually kill it. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. And then we get to replay a land. And a skull clamp. The problem is our deck doesn't have a ton of lands. 
Uh, we don't have enough mana to reanimate and uh, to, to up people and reanimate. Hmm. One, two, three, four. We play Urza. And then we have... The problem is if they have Crater Hoof, we're dead. You guys are trying to wait a turn, but like they've literally been playing towards eight mana all game and they haven't played anything else other than like cheap creatures. So... Really just trying to draw a card here. Okay. Still still alive. Oh boy. So we have one, two, three, four, Mox, Land. No, we're gonna shuffle. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> That does not do it. My kingdom for a fucking Aleshnorn right now. My, or a uh, Wrath of God, rather. We still have one more draw here, actually. So we got one, two... No, we don't. We have three mana. Um, oh my god, we could actually mind twist them and try to hit it. One, two, three, four, five, six. I, I, I think Mind Twist is better here. It can't be, right? We get to keep three cards. We get to keep a Leshnor and Urza and like... They get to keep one creature, so maybe Rafelos. We cannot twist plus bounce. Where do you guys think we're getting this mana from? <laughs> I don't understand where we're getting the mana. Oh, Twist is greater than balance is what you're saying. Not if we don't hit the one Greater Hoof, though, and then they just kill us. Like, balance, they get to keep one guy, and then they get to Crater Hoof. Like, one, two, three, four, five, six. Like, we get to keep three cards. We can actually even discard Aleshnorn and Unbarrel Rights. Yeah, we're 100% balancing here. One. Get rid of catacombs. I don't really feel like taking damage. Blue. Oh, God. Those are the targets we're keeping. No, 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 no. Oof. That would have been scary. Uh, I'll keep Mind Twist. I'll keep Alesh uh, I'll keep Urza. And I'll keep Unbarrel Rights. One. Two, three, four, and then one, two. We're keeping Mind Twist, we're keeping Urza. And probably keeping like, so we can go one, one, two, three, four next turn, play Urza, tap this for two, three, and then a land. So I think we're actually just keeping Mind Twist, Urza, land. Now, upheaval doesn't upheaval doesn't do anything because they're all gonna die. Like they're not gonna have much. I'm just give me another white. Yeah, that seems fine. Man, 
that was a hell of a turn. Jesus, that took like 40 minutes. Hope he went off to college, found a nice partner. How's a kid now? I mean, they can they can cast Creator Hoof Attack for seven, and that's totally fine. Okay, turn Timber. Oh boy, what's it gonna be? Avenger. Okay, that's actually okay because we have a Leshnorn. I can play something else. Primeval Titan. No. They did not. I'm going to say yes. I don't think we have lands, though. Correct. Oh, wow. Um. All right. So we're going to just play Urza. One, two, three, four. Or, no, we're going to mind twist them this turn. Today's for twisting. Yeah, why didn't you... Wait, what? You didn't play Hexdrinker and pump it to a million? Why wouldn't you do that? What? So now they're in top deck mode. Sounds good. They're like, you know what? You beat him last time. It's not going to be good enough this time. Do we still have Walking Ballista? Or did we get rid of that guy early? We have Winter Orb. That'll do. And we have seven cards. We can easily activate an Urza here. Okay. We won the match? I didn't even realize we won a game. Oh my god. How are we 2 0 with this deck? Meanwhile, our green deck today went 1 2. Oh boy, man. I don't even know what's happening right now. This is a state of affairs, people. Must be the play skill. <laughs> I didn't want to brag, but. Uh... Here in the Midwest, we have been giving freezing fog warnings in the past few evenings and driving around. What the? F that sounds. What is freezing fog? Don't step into it. Um. Yeah, I'll keep this hand. I wonder if we winter orb here. I just woke up and read the news, buddy. Well, we're going to have to tap both our lands next turn. I don't think we're going to win or 
situation here. So, like, I'd rather play it on, like, turn three when we don't have anything to, like... Oh, cast you, cast you. I'll be meant. I'll mentor. If you're gonna kill it, I hope you path to exile it and not swords to plowshares it. I don't care about that. Our statues back on the table now. What does that mean? You're saying right now. Oh, good. They had a banishing light. Is there a Wrath of God? That'd be great. I love a good Wrath of God. Okay, we'll just take all the cards. That's even better. What? Gideon, Gideon. Oh, boy. He wants to make a statue and give it to you for your birthday. Oh, no. Well, if they keep one card in hand, I'm okay, because then we get to him to Torok it. Oh, I like that. Oh, why did you play that? I don't understand. Man, people make weird decisions. No, oh, I'm good. You got it. We're really looking for Wrath of God here. Well, that guy's going to attack for eight next turn, so we're basically dead if we don't find something. Can it be a Wrath of God? It cannot. Well. Oh, we're not, we're not dead. We have like three turns. No, we have more less than that. We have like one turn. Hmm. That's actually pretty decent. We block here. I mean, we could factor fiction. It would just be really uh, unfortunate. So they can only pump this guy one, maybe two, which means we still get to block anything they want to put up against us, which is pretty good. I guess we get to block here and then take three and go to one. But then this guy is no longer a threat. I mean, the thing is, like, we have one, two, we have one, two, three, four, five, six mana. No. No. We have one, two, three, four, five mana. So we need either Wrath of God or Balance. I mean, they have to Alpha here. It puts us to one. Like, it's not even a question. Like, we have to block here. We go to one. That white. Underground sea. One, two, three, four. Hit it. <laughs> oh, look, I found an Aleshnorn. <laughs> and then on burial rights.
Okay, well. Wow. So we have one two mana. That is unfortunate. What's happening in the chat right now? What's the holdup? Just fucking pick a pile, man. Pick a pile, I'm dead. Okay. You got it. Um, I think we're bringing in Choops again. I like I don't think Armageddon is great in the matchup like this. Neither is Winter Orb. To get the Academy Ruins, add in that extra swamp that we liked so much. I don't love Living Death because our goal is to make them discard cards and kill their creatures early. Now, see, like, everyone says Living Death, but, like, if we go him to Torok, Mind Twist, or Vindicate any of their creatures, Living Death just gets so much worse because it's just we're trading some creatures for other creatures. Uh, I kind of like Metalworker. They do have multiple Gideons. I think Freebooter could actually be fine. But again, if we Wrath of God, they just get their Gideon back. So we go Wrath, they go Gideon. And I'm like, okay, cool, that's really good. I'm just going to play Metal Worker. It blocks their 1-2s. Have you seen Bodyguard play much? Not at all, actually. And when I first saw it added to the cube, I thought it was actually a bug. I was like, did they just throw this guy in here accidentally? Or You should bring an LED for no reason at all. Yes. We can ship upheaval, maybe. Look, man, if we go 2 1 with this deck, I am completely fine with it, and I am uh, just super grateful. The funny thing is, Metal Orker and. It might just be shipping an, a plains or an island. Upheaval could be pretty good if we can get, like, if we draw, like, two artifacts. Like, we get to go Upheaval, replay, like, Metalworker. I'm going to ship one planes. Because, like, it's not like we don't have lands. We have plenty of lands. We have enough lands to play Metalworker. If we get a black, we can him. Okay. 
You don't ship planes, my guy. They can fly. Damn it. This is why I'm so bad with transportation. It's your boy, Metal Worker. Shut up and take my money. Oh, okay. Amped Phil. That's an odd stip. Must take only odd casting cost cards. You can take cards that cost X as long as they are played for an odd number. Color does not matter. Can we make an exception for power so I don't have to pass, like, time walk? Because that would be ideal. Uh, let's go black, blue. Play this guy. Also, zero is even, right? So I want to be able to play Moxes and uh, and the other thing. You know the one. Uh, I have nothing to do with this mana, which is extremely Thank unfortunate, you. but uh, that's okay. Dan's with 23 months? How are you almost two years? That's insane. Dan's, I love you, and I'm grateful for you, and you are awesome. All right, I'm going to go to content. I want to put this... I mean, typically most most vintage keep stipulations uh, have exceptions for power. Only for the poweriest power. Well, that's like all of it, though, right? I mean, Twister is odd. Soul Ring is odd, so those are fine. And then you have five Moxes and a Lotus, so that's six. So that's eight total. And then Time Twister or Time Walk is is even, so that'd be an exception. Mind twist is odd, right? So, like, most of the things you'd want to take are either odd or... Whoa, I am 100% blocking this. Uh, Soaring is... Oh, they're going to they're gonna resto. Okay. Well, we don't lose our Baleful Strix. So I guess that's fine. Soaring has pretty much always been considered... I mean, like, it's not official, like, money power, but... While he's doing big screech. We're going to get a scrub land, which is... Um... Stop! Wally! Come here. Come here. Oh, God, I gotcha. Okay, take it easy. I gotcha. I gotcha. Oh, okay. You gotta come in here. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta save him. He's being real loud and screechy. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. Are you okay? You want to go see your moms? Okay, go get her. Go get her. Okay, I think we averted our catastrophe here. Are we doing anything at the end of the turn? No. We're just hoping for one artifact. It's a monastery mentor. It's an unfortunate. It's not exactly an artifact, but that's okay. It holds down the fort, and if we still hit an artifact, we're still good to go. Hello, my dear. Hello. Hi. So, what are we doing? Amped fill. Are you leaning? I have no idea. Can I sit here? Yeah. You just have to move all the, the garbage that infests my life. <laughs> this is my old plate, so. This is a stack of cards, but you've already looked through them, so. Yeah, those are the ones you're like, I'll already look through these. How was your day? I'll unmute your mic so people can hear you. There you go. It was better than yesterday. <laughs> you can't say it all sad. It was better than yesterday. Well, it still wasn't. Really? You sound like you were having. Supreme. You, you just said I was having a great day earlier. You're like, I'm having a really good day. It's much better than yesterday. Did I say that? Yeah, you did. I think so. Mother of prunes. Got it. I said that it was much better than yesterday night, which is different than yesterday day. Oh, oh, okay. Artifact. <gasps> oh, we're going to live the dream. Are you ready? I want you to be ready. I'm ready. Let's cast this and we'll make another 
another uh, another Monka S. Monka S. I don't know what you, I don't know what that I don't know what you did there, but my sweater is half ghost. Oh, it does have green on it. God, don't have a counter spell. Oh my God, they did not have a counter spell. Oh Jesus, they had a family. <laughs> Oh boy, we have a what game. What did you say about their family? I said they had one. They had a family. Oh. Yeah, you got it. Hi, Stramim. That doesn't seem like it's going to do as much as you need it to do. Shut up and take my money. Katie's Nuggets Fund Bugs. <laughs> uh, I so love one, two, McDonald's. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We can actually play Upheaval Float 2. What if we alpha? They block here. They take one, two, three, four. It's not as good. We also get a Leshnorn back, which is pretty nuts. All right, let's do this. Add let's two. Let's do it. Three, four, five, six. Um, actually, let's attack with the tokens first, I guess. And the Baleful Strix. And if they want to trade, that's fine. Wow. Hi, buddy. Because I'm pretty sure they're just taking three here. I don't think they're going to actually just trade with a 1-1 one, one flyer. Okay, sure. That guy was going to die anyway. Favorite dipping sauce for nuggets. So, I really don't eat nuggets in general. Um, I have really liked the... What's that feisty sauce? Uh, The zesty sauce from Burger King? The zesty Burger King. sauce from Burger King. Surprisingly. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're gonna float. We're gonna play. We're gonna have four total mana. Plus an Aleshnor, and I think we just go replay Baleful Strix and Porcelain Legionnaire. So we're gonna float a black and a blue. I guess we can just replay this as our land. One, two, three, four. Sure. He doing big focus. Yeah, because I'm other. Yeah, I just it's a big turn with lots of intricate mana costs. Right, blue. Okay, we just win the game. <laughs> we, this is a Kerwit stipulation that was terrible. <laughs> Our deck ended up terrible, and we're we're two one, and we're going into game three of the third round. So I have no idea how any of that happened. Because you're a professional magicker. She's right. It's true. Um, in addition to the feisty sauce, I love buffalo sauce and ranch sauce from McDonald's. There probably exists better sauces, but I'm really not about good things in life unless it's sushi. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of oh, just like crappy things. And it's okay. Oh boy! What was that four dollar nugget fund for then? Um, that's probably for my next McDonald's meal, which will be after January is over. That's wild. He doesn't think I can do it. I don't. I mean, I love you and I believe in you, but this is a this is a big one for you. She loves McDonald's. It's literally her favorite thing. It is my favorite thing. That like, is the one of her favorite thing. Had a bad day? We should get McDonald's. Well, yeah, had a great day. day and want to celebrate? I want to get McDonald's. <laughs> had just an okay day? Okay, we can eat some random $10 to $15 meal or sushi and I'll be happy. But All right, so this hand's rough. Oh, this hand's better, though. I will ship a Swamparino. Bye, relax, and Sam. Sammy, have a good dinner, buddy. Tell Hunter I love him. Same with big, same with big man. You mean little man? And Wally, and shoot the other one. <laughs> That's what we call him too sometimes when he's being bad. Hey, shoot the other one. Get over <laughs> here. All right. So next time we're gonna play a land, and we're gonna draw a card. So we're gonna have two slots, so we could theoretically get two lands and be fine. We might want to get three just in case we draw something for two. That's my theory. Or we can ponder. So we're probably going to get all three lands. filet of fish meal is my favorite hangover meal. Mm. Blue, blue, white. 
blue, blue, white, 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 blue, blue, white, white. Mm, that's a good song. So we played our land. Let's ponder. See if we can hit a Mox. Him to Torok and a Leshnorn, huh? I think we just keep all of these. Two, three, no. And then we can get rid of like Verdant Catacomb, I guess. I don't want to thin our deck out any more than we have to. So next time we can him, then we can Thran Dynamo, then we can Aleshnorn. So we just have to survive for like 14,000 turns. Like Donald's over in and out? Yeah. Yeah. There's not really oh, like play anything. a competition in my mind between those two. So we're going to go up one. We're going to lose two. One, two, three. I'm just going to get one land here. Somebody said, don't forget to not search if you want to keep your cards. Oh, God damn it. <sighs> well, I searched and I drew a fucking planes. That was okay. Well, a little too late. <laughs> That's really unfortunate. Wow. That's literally the exact thing you got. Oh, my God. Oh, I'm so mad. That might cost us the game. Whatever. Next time we get to go these three. We're gonna have we're gonna go three cards, four drawing. We're just gonna oh god, I'm just so I'm oh I'm so mad right now. They're attacking with mother runes. Are they playing big gids? Okay, wrath of god, just wrath of god one time. Black and blue. Why do we keep hitting a third? I gotta understand why am I keep hitting fucking lands? Like this is wild. I literally search out three lands in my deck and I get a fourth land. Okay, well, cool. Literally have seven lands in my hand right now. Jesus. <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry, I'm not angry. <laughs> How long are you making that face? It's been a while. Okay. <laughs> well, so we can have one, two, three. We still have enough mana to do all the things. Jesus, look at this hand. All because I stupid land tax when I shouldn't have. Oh my god. I'm so mad at myself. Remember that time I read that thing right at the wrong moment? You didn't know, but it's not your fault. You only read it, you only made me aware of it. That's all you did. <laughs> Which caused the anger. No, he but would I would have become aware. No, if you didn't say anything, I would have drawn my card and been like, wait, where'd the Alesh Norn go? Yeah. And then I wouldn't have got mad. I agree that In N Out just serves Big Macs with worse fries. Whereas McDonald's serves other things in addition to Big Mac with butter fries. Okay, so the fading, this goes on first, then this. Get get a little faded. I'm just getting all the lands I don't even care anymore. That's a drug reference. Is it really? <laughs> He's talking about drugs on his stream. White and black. Okay. Metalworker. Metalworker is the card I draw. Fucking metalworker. So we block here, we take four, and we're dead on board. That's actually incredible. Those are the worst draws I've ever had in a game of Magic. Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out on twitch.tv slash franklapore. As Caden will tell you, you should also go to Cool Stuff Inc. and use Frank5 to get 5% off your purchase. Please consider subscribing or following at Twitch. It's a great way to support the channel, especially if you're enjoying the YouTube content. Slam the like and subscribe buttons on YouTube. Make sure you write your congressman about Magic Online. No, there's more important things. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for Don't watching. Don't shuffle when you stack the top of your deck. It's a good strategy. You've learned something here today. Thank Don't you. Don't forget it. Bye. MTG Valor. Thank you for the gift. Or thank you for the sub, buddy. Really appreciate it. And I'll see you guys next time.